you see that? As I said, it's an older camera, but it does have everything on it that, uh, that you want. Nothing fancy. This camera may not be the latest model, but members of Winnipeg's Amateur Movie Makers Club are more than happy with their technology. They've had plenty of time to get familiar with it. The club's members have been making home movies for more than 30 years. We have people in our clubs that are very, very serious about movie making and people like myself that are sort of middle of the road and, uh, uh, you know, doing it more for the enjoyment of it than anything else. My main interest, like I say, is aviation. The group meets once a month at Church of the Way on Lilac Street. For more than 75 years, the club has been a place for members to discuss new techniques for movie making and how to process old films for viewing. You put your Super 8 movie onto the projector here, run the projector, we go through this lens, through a mirror system, which would then bounce the photograph over onto this uh, panel here. And while this process isn't as simple as using today's technology, for some members, the outdated equipment is a reminder of how they first fell in love with movie making. When Jeanette Robertson joined the club with her husband Wally in the 60s, they bought this camera for $300, a huge expense at the time. Pretty much his favorite because it gave clear, sharp uh, pictures and he loved the lens, which uh, you don't get decent lenses anymore. And. Uh, he had a lot of fun with it when our boys were little and making up little stories and, and uh, doing little vignettes with the boys. They share these home movies with other members of the club and discuss how the footage looks and what could be improved. And while Robertson enjoyed her early days of working with a Super 8 camera, she's happy that new digital recorders are less messy. Worked with Super 8 or, or regular 8, uh, your house sort of looked like a spaghetti factory. You had miniature laundry with strips of film hanging up in the basement. Although they still play around with using older pieces, most members have moved on to using new technology, experimenting with digital cameras to bring their lifelong hobby into the present. So I've learned a lot at this club of how to make a movie the way it should be made. The Winnipeg amateur movie makers are keen to learn new things and they're interested in getting new members. So if you'd like to join or even teach a workshop, you can call the number on your screen. For Shaw TV, I'm Daniela Ponticelli.